Your filter bubble is kind of your own personal, unique universe of information that you live in online. And what's in your filter bubble depends on who you are, and it depends on what you do. But the thing is that you don't decide what gets in. And more importantly, you don't actually see what gets edited out. And Zuckerberg said, a squirrel dying in your front yard may be more relevant to your interests right now than people dying in Africa. You know, the internet meant something very different to me. It, it meant uh, a connection to the world. It meant something that would connect us all together. But there's this kind of shift in how information is flowing online. I'm progressive politically, but I've always uh, you know, gone out of my way to meet conservatives. I like hearing what they're thinking about. I like seeing what they link to. I like learning a thing or two. And so I was kind of surprised when I noticed one day that the conservatives had disappeared from my Facebook feed. This moves us very quickly toward a world in which the internet is showing us what it thinks we want to see, but not necessarily what we need to see. As Eric Schmidt said, it'll be very hard for people to watch or consume something that has not in some sense been tailored for them. We need to make sure that they're not just keyed to relevance. We need to make sure that they also show us things that are uncomfortable or challenging or important. This is what TED does, right? You couldn't have a functioning democracy if citizens didn't get a good flow of information. We really need the internet to be that thing that we all dreamed of it being. We need it to connect us all together. We need it to introduce us to new ideas and new people and different perspectives. And it's not going to do that if it leaves us all isolated in a web of one. Thank you. Thank you.